Hello friends, welcome to Bunnyfish Crafts. I'm your host Heather, known as Bunnyfish on Instagram, YouTube, and Patreon. Today is Sunday, the 17th of October, 2021, and I have not recorded anything in a while. Definitely a week, maybe longer. Um, there's just a lot of stuff, personal stuff going on, but now I'm back. I'm in better headspace. Um, so I am not in great headspace though. <sighs> so I'm going to start a new project that is going to be basically mindless, a little mindful, but basically mindless. I am going to do a tube cowl, um, and I'm going to knit it helically. Let me show you what I picked out. So I grabbed out my fingering weight single ply yarns and I came up with these two color progressions. Um, here's some of my other singles. I'm, I'm sure I have more, but it's in my scrap bins. Um, as I've been working on scrappy projects, I've just been trying to pull out um, the single ply because it works up differently than other things in scrappy blankets and um and I realize if I want to make scrappy blankets for other people it's not ideal to have single ply yarns in them because not everybody is willing to hand wash a blanket some of my my friends are but not all of them are so or family um anyway so this is basically going to be color a and this is going to be color B and I'm just going to knit helically. I'm going to knit until the scrap runs out and then go to the next color. I don't know if I'm going to use all of these colors. I don't know if I'm going to need to pull more colors to make it longer. I don't have an ideal length for this cowl. I just want something that's going to be fairly mindless. So I'm going to, um, I'm probably going to take these yarns and put a, uh, a spare cable through them and stopper the ends. And that's probably how I'm going to keep them in order. I've done that before with other projects and it worked pretty well. So that's my thought for this project, but I'm going to go ahead and get it started. Friday, I took my kids to their dad and, um, I kind of had a perfect storm of like not taking care of myself. So this is going to be kind of gross. If you don't want to hear it, I'll put a timestamp here. Um, so yeah, it's kind of, I'm going to go into some detail. So if you don't want to, skip ahead to that timestamp. Okay, I'm going to start talking in five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so um, I was pregnant, and now I'm not pregnant. And uh, that whole process started while I was driving. I guess... Like, technically, my body was trying to tell me something was going on because I threw up my lunch at work, which never happens. But I just thought maybe the orange juice I had was bad because um, I had opened it the week before. I think the week before on Thursday. And so I was like, oh, it must have gone bad. Like, maybe our fridge at work, our, our classroom fridge didn't keep it cold enough or something. So I threw up and then I felt fine. So I didn't go home because there was only, like an hour left of school and then got on the road and, um, started bleeding. And at one point we stopped to 
to go to a gas station. And I was like, okay, I'm going to get some Gatorade. Well, I stood up and there was a huge gush of blood. And my daughter saw it, like, splash out of my shoe. I was like, oh, crap, oh, crap. Um, so I went to the bathroom and cleaned up and changed pants. Luckily, I had a spare pair of pants, even though they didn't fit. Hold on, let me take care of my dog. Okay, so... I was like, okay, it'll be fine. I'll get a Gatorade. Well, then I realized I had left my purse at work. And I was already an hour away from home, maybe more than an hour away. I was like, okay, well, pretty sure I have enough gas to get where I'm going. If not, I'll stop a little sooner and the kid's dad can meet me a little bit further north than normal. And um, I knew he would help me cover gas because I just knew he would. So... Then we were driving and we stopped at a rest area and I wasn't feeling great. And I really considered telling him to come to the rest area that was like 25 miles north of where we were meeting, but I, I didn't like I'd rested at the rest area for a few minutes and I was like, okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. So we get to the gas station and I text their dad that we're, we'll meet him at the gas station it's like, okay, he's, he was almost there. And, uh, and so I pulled my car to a pump and, um, and I got out and I put his card, he gave me his card to use. So I put his card in the, the card reader and I started not feeling good. So I sat down in my car and I put my head on my arm and I, maybe fainted. I feel like I probably did. But then I was like, oh, let me get the card. And I started pumping the gas. And the next thing I know, uh, the people at the pump next to me are like, are you okay? On the ground. I fainted. Um, I have a little scrape on my chin and you can't see the bruise, but it's sore. Um, yeah. So, so I, there, my kid's dad, um, came over and helped me get in my car and he was like, Hey, there's a courtyard across the street. I was like a courtyard. We've met at this stop lots of times. And I'm thinking like a courtyard, like a space in between buildings or something thinking he was just going to have me move my car and I would sleep it off. Because I was, that's what I needed. I needed rest. I needed food and drink. Oh, back at the gas, gas station, I was going to get Gatorade. So I didn't have anything to drink. I threw up again on the drive. So no food, no hydration, bleeding. Um, plus, I had started my day at 4 a.m. and it was now like 8 p.m. or something. 30, I think. And so I was like, I was so disoriented and he was like, do you want me to drive you? And I was like, yeah, please. Um, courtyard was a hotel. So he moved my car out of the spot. Um, and he was going to go back and like walk across and get it and move it to the hotel while well, the hotel was completely booked. So Then he uh, called his mom, who lived an hour away, and she said I could stay at her house. So I, he drove me to her house, and um, and when I tried to get out of the car, I fainted again. <laughs> then, um, And then I fainted a second time again, even worse. And like, like the first time I leaned on the seat and the second time my legs went out from under me. So we got me inside and, uh, I powered myself upstairs into the shower. Um, they have a sitting shower and then I passed out again and they were like, are you sure you don't need to go to the hospital? I'm sure it's not my first miscarriage. Um, it is the first time, though, that I've had a miscarriage and then not just laid down. So, and the first miscarriage I had 
was about the same weeks along and they were like, oh, there's not really anything we can do for you except give you fluids. So I can give myself fluids at home. So that's why I opted to. Uh, this is not medical advice. I do not recommend that for you. That was just my choice. So I got showered. Um, his mom gave me Gatorade and water and snacks and kept checking in on me until I fell asleep. So I slept about four hours and then I couldn't sleep anymore. So I tentatively like got up, went to the bathroom a couple times, walked around a little, stretched, see how I felt, like if I was going to faint. And I was okay. So I made the decision to, um, my option was either if I could drive myself, if I felt comfortable driving myself at 7 a.m., then his mom could drive me to the car. Otherwise, I would have to wait until my sister could come pick me up and she'd be there at about 4 p.m. So I walked around and I was like super honest with myself about whether or not I could, um, I could be safe to drive. I made the decision that I was. So his mom drove me to my car. And, um, I called my kiddo, my boy, as soon as he woke up because he was really scared. Like he saw me hit the pavement, um, as he was transferring his stuff, I guess he, he saw it and he dropped all of his stuff in the middle of the parking lot and came running over. I don't remember that, but um, that's what he said happened. And I believe him. So yeah, I called him and I talked to him and I stopped at every single rest area on the way home. I took an hour nap at one of them because I was tired and uh, I took it easy on the drive home. So the drive, which would normally be like a three hour drive, was more like a five hour drive, but that's okay. So anyway, I'm okay. I'm better. Uh, the pregnancy was an accident. Um, I missed a dose of my birth control for a day. <laughs> and, and then when I realized that my period was late, I was like, oh crap, let me stop taking my birth control. But, um, yeah, so I'm okay. Emotionally, hormonally, I'm not okay. Hormonally, I keep wanting to cry over everything. Um, Physically, I'm feeling kind of weak, and so I am not driving myself to pick up my kids today. Patrick is driving, which he hasn't done before, so I'm I'm going with him. I'm going for the ride, um, so I want a knitting project that's easy to take, hence the cowl. I'm probably also going to, oh no, I left the socks at school, so no, just the cowl. That's your cannoli donut. Mm -hmm. Somewhere in here. That is a chocolate mousse tart. That is a maple bacon. That is a berry long john. Mm -hmm. These two are uh, raspberry, almond, cheesecake. Um, some sort of tart? Some sort of a type of uh, croissant pastry. Okay. Same with this one. This one is a strawberry cheesecake. Okay. Looks good. Breakfast of champions. Mm hmm This is what grown-ups have for breakfast when the kids are gone. Okay, so I'm in the car, and I decided I would also bring along Mara's blanket and attach some flowers. I don't know how many I'm going to get. I brought a bunch, but it started out with six flowers attached, so this will be the seventh. We'll see. Even if I only get, you know, one or two attached, that's fine. And I also have my cowl, but I just realized it's twisted. No! So it looks like I would have to pull back a lot of work, but actually I only have to pull back these purple stitches right here and untwist it because as you can see that's where the first connection is so not so bad I'm glad I noticed it now um, we're stopped at Meyer so Patrick can pick up car snacks for us 
so as you can see, no longer twisted. And I did my provisional cast on by using Judy's Magic Cast On. Um, one, I think you can see, it. yeah. So one strand of each of the two colors. I think I did somewhere between like 150 and 180 stitches. It didn't really matter. I was kind of counting, but not really. I just wanted it to be comfortable to go around a 16 inch circular. That's the needle I'm using to knit. The other one is a 32 inch um, circular. Both size two, and the nice thing about using the needle to hold my provisional cast on is one, I don't have, it'll be easier to Kitchener closed at the end, and two, I can hold my upcoming yarns on that needle. It is a little bit fiddly to start out with the needles like this, but once I get probably an inch or so into the cowl, then I don't even notice the needle. The really, the first round feels really awkward, but soon it won't feel awkward at all. So <laughs> we'll see how far I get. I might not get far at all. I have a headache right now, so there might be knitting, there might not be, but I want to knit, which I haven't wanted to knit in weeks. So I'm trying to embrace it. So when I get snacks for the car ride, it's usually two bottles of water for me um, each way. So four bottles of water and a bottle for each of the kids. And then like a bag of goldfish. When Patrick comes along, this is ridiculous. This, this on my lap, is what Patrick got. So two bags of popcorn, a full sub, <laughs> a cheese coffee cake. I did ask for combos, so we got some combos, we got some Gatorade, garlic sauce, and hummus, and uh, na nan, and pretzel bites, and who are you, and hold on, wait, and some chicken legs. Like how many people are you feeding on the seven hour road trip, babe? <laughs> <laughs> my whole entire family. Sandwich. Who are you feeding? My whole entire family. Uh -huh. If they want a sandwich, they can have some sandwich. If they want some of the uh, pita bread, like you like it, you can have that. I got Gatorade for them, sodas. I went all out, yes, but you know, that's what you do for family. Hello sunshines, happy Monday. So, there was some drama today. By drama, I mean I went to work this morning because I thought I felt okay. Like I did some laundry this morning and I thought I felt okay. So I went to school and I walked in and I was like, okay, that was a lot of walking. I don't know, I'm not feeling awesome made it about 45 minutes and I was like nope tapping out I can't I was really tired and not quite feeling faint or dizzy but like you know the feeling right before you feel those things I was there and I was like okay this is no good so one of my coworkers drove me home and I took a nap and um, Patrick's not working this week, so he fed me, and um, and now I'm feeling way better than I was this morning, and I am at the yarn shop to teach. I am going to, um, I'm so close to finished, like, doing all the things for the advent, advent, stuff which is good because those need to ship out in a little over a week I think I said the shipping date was so I have time I'm not worried about it it's super close but I do I am going to work on that a little bit before class starts and then I brought the Kai Mei sock good job me um it is right at the beginning of the gusset so 
depending on how much up and down I'm doing in my class today. Maybe I can get decently through the gusset on that. So friends, I figured out that I still need to make 10 pairs of Christmas socks. It's the end of October. I'm not panicking. Two of those pairs. Okay, so I need to finish 10 pairs. One of those is Kaime. So I already have the second sock halfway done. So that's not too bad. Two of them are shorty socks, pairs of shorty socks. So those won't be too bad either. And then another three are kids tube socks. So it's not really, it's not really that extreme. I do have to make boy socks for my son and my two nephews. So those are like me sized socks basically. Um, I guess I should check and see if my nephews now have giant feet because they could. But I'm planning on using like maybe some Regia Perfect or just Regia in general and just doing vanilla socks. I have a tickle in my throat. I don't know what's going on. And then I'm also going to make a, I think I'm going to make a turn a square for um, Patrick's brother. So I need to look at that pattern because I was going to make a sock head, but then he was like, oh, I think he'd rather have a beanie. So probably going to do a turn a square because it's quick and pretty mindless and easy to do at work. Uh, now that I feel like knitting again, I, I'm not really worried about what I want to accomplish in the next about two months. It's eight weeks. It's 10 pairs of socks. I do have to make three hats. So two hats for Patrick's nieces, still a hat for his brother. Um, then I might make a hat cowl set for someone I work with, but if I don't make that, I'm not that worried about it. So yeah, I also have to make some ornaments for an ornament swap that I'm hosting that I totally dropped the ball on. <laughs> but those should be, you know, one day projects. I'm thinking for each one and I only have three partners this year. So yeah, I mean, I'm going to make more than three ornaments, but that's all I have to like stress about, I guess. So yeah, let me go start getting things done and let me show you something. Ta -da, ta -da. So here is the cowl that I started yesterday um, before going to pick up children. And this is as far as I got yesterday. And look at how much I did today too. I did that while reading Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo. It's the first um, it's the first book in the Grisha series or universe or something. I don't know. I just it was recommended, so I picked it up. So so I've been reading that. I started it uh, Saturday morning because. I didn't know where, no, not Saturday morning, Saturday afternoon when I got home. Um, because I didn't know where Fox and I is. I'm not sure where it is. I need to clean my room and then I'll read it. But I am already somewhere in the high hundred somethings and there's only 350 pages. So I'm enjoying it. Um... I'll talk more about it later, maybe. And I will definitely do a book check-in of what I was reading for the couple, for the week when I wasn't here, a couple weeks. Hello, sunshines. It's Friday evening. And um, do you know what happens when your mojo comes back after being gone for a while? I have done a bunch of knitting this week. So I was just at the gusset on Monday. So just right here. So my Monday progress would have been from like here to here. And then this is my Tuesday progress. And then Wednesday I finished the foot. 
Yesterday, I did not work on this because I didn't take it to school. And then after school, we had trunk or treat. So I didn't really knit after school yesterday. But I think I can finish this sock tonight. Well, no, I can definitely finish the sock tonight easy peasy. There's still a couple hours until bedtime. So this I'm hoping to finish. I also don't have it over here. But Mara's socks, the ones that are made out of this yarn, I finally kitchenered the toe. It's only been like three weeks of waiting. Uh, I'm going to use this yarn. Well, let's go back to this sock right here. This is Kai Mei by Cookie A. The yarn that I'm using is Knit Picks Stroll Tweed in the Barn Door Heather colorway. And... Yeah, this so should be done tonight. So that will be pair number one of 10. Pair number two might be this sock or might be a different sock. Um, this is literally just cast on and half of a row to anchor the cast on. So I am making a pair of socks for a two-year-old and I have all this yarn left over from making Mara's socks. It's a sport weight yarn. It's from Sh Shipwrecked Sheep. It's called Won't Be Forgotten. And I think it'll be super cute for a two-year-old so tube socks. So this should be quick and easy. I should be able to finish this pair sometime in the coming week. I also started another sock. So this is using Stroll Tweed in the three shades of yarn that I used to make my, um, the top that I made this summer by Shane Alliance Designs, Recalibrate. So I have these leftovers and I'm making a pair of shorty socks. I am through the gusset. Um, this is what I knit on today at school for the most part. I had the cuff finished. I did the cuff yesterday. So I did all of this at school today. So I'm pretty pleased with that. I feel like I can probably finish this first sock tomorrow. The plan is to go to the apple orchard tomorrow. So I think this would be really good um, car knitting and apple picking. And then the last thing that I started this week is a turn a square hat. I don't know what this yarn is. It is something, it's a leftover that my sister gave me. And you can see that there's purple in here. So that is also a leftover from, I don't know what I made with that, fingerless mitts maybe? Um, I'm, I, bleh. <laughs> I wasn't sure if I was going to have enough of this to make a whole hat. So instead of going from this color straight into a purple at the crown, I figured I could introduce a couple stripes down at the bottom of the purple so that um, wherever I introduce the purple for the crown, if I introduce it, it will make sense and look like it was intentional instead of like an accident. I don't know if I will need it or not. I don't know. Uh, I think I need to knit this to about... I think the pattern says five inches. I'm going to make it six. Um, so maybe another inch or so straight and then decreases. So I think I'm going to finish this hat and the sock tonight. That is my goal. And I am going to do that while reading this, which is steeped in gold by, I don't know how to say that, Siannon Smart. I don't know. Uh, this is the book club book for the month. I have not really started it. I did start it last night. I read a couple pages. I remember zero of what happened, but I do recall that I really like the reading style and I think it's going to be a quick read considering it's like over 500 pages. Hello friends. It's Saturday morning. It's uh, about a half hour before I need to go into work, and it is chilly outside. It is rainy. I think it's like in the 40s with a high in the low 50s. I'm so excited. I have leggings with 
knee high socks and slippers, my very messed up slippers because I use them inappropriately. They're not meant to break up bonfires, but does that stop me? No. Anyway, I am in my car so that I can have quiet time away from my family. Anybody else? I know I'm not the only person who does that. Um, before I go into work. And then today we are going, I needed time away from them because this evening I'm going to be with them forever. We're going to an apple orchard. I think it's 45 minutes to an hour away. We're going to pick some apples, maybe a pumpkin or two, and probably pick up cider and donuts. And, um, I think we're going to the one with like all the stuff to do, not the smaller one that just kind of has a shop. I'm not sure, but I'll take you along. And yeah, I have, I don't, I don't know if I think that today is going to be a slow day or a busy day at work. I kind of am thinking slow. Um, two weeks ago it was slow because it was sunny out. And today I think it's going to be slow because it is rainy out <laughs> and it's chilly. It's kind of the first really proper autumnal day that we've had like with the the drizzle and the cool temperatures it's been cooling down a little bit but like this is the first really proper crisp rainy day so I don't know if we're gonna have customers or not we'll see uh, I will have at least one because one of my students is coming in so it'll be fine it'll be fine even if it's just one customer. I have things that I can do. Um, I'll show you some knitting when I get inside. But first, I'll just pop in a picture of the uh, Kai Mei socks. Finished those. And I don't know. I need to check in the car and see if I can find the purple yarn to finish that hat because I got to the crown decreases and I don't have enough yarn to get all the way through the crown decreases. So I'm going to start striping now so that again, it looks more natural than if I just have like a, a random purple bullseye in the middle of the hat, but I can't find the purple yarn. Couldn't find it in my room. So it's probably in the car because the last place that I had it was trunk or treat. So it might actually be in the back. I'm going to check before I go into work and get just a little bit of knitting done while I watch a podcast. I haven't watched podcasts in so long. I mean, I've caught one here and there over the past like two months, but really I haven't been watching because too much was going on, but I'm feeling better now. Okay. Uh, yeah. Knitting. I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. Bye friends.
exit with me. <laughs> Are you guys gonna come Good morning, friends. Happy Sunday, the 24th of October. Um, this is my list for today. <sighs> I'm torn between this place where I really need rest, but I also need to get things done. So I'm going to dye my hair and Mara's hair, four loads of laundry approximately to do, um, not from scratch. I have one load on my bed waiting to be folded and put away one load in the dryer. And then I think two loads to run the hat that I was working on yesterday just needs the, um, the top sewn closed and the ends woven in weave in ends on the sock. It's the sock I'm currently working on needs ends woven in. I think I can finish the sock today. I'm going to try. I didn't put that on the list, but I should. Um, to page 150 in Witches Steeped in Gold. I'm on page 56 right now. I'm trying to, you know, force myself to take breaks and stuff. I need to clean the washing machine. That only takes like 10 minutes. Um, advent calendars are about three quarters of the way packed. I want to finish those, get the extras in today. I have one ornament for a swap almost, it's probably like 50%. I want to finish that, start another one. Um, I scheduled, I'm scheduling myself a nap. I need to take a nap. That's high priority. I have two vlogs to edit, dinner at my mom's. I have to pick up Patrick from work so we can go to dinner to my mom's. And I put these two things on here because I already did them this morning, dropped off Patrick and dropped off Kenny. So I'm going to cross those off. I wanted some quick, easy wins because, you know, it they weren't actually that quick. I was gone for over an hour out of my house doing these drop-off things. So I might add, I'm going to add library to my list, which I can do on my way to pick up Patrick. I have some books to return and some paper recycling to drop off. So that would be good. My paper recycling bag is overflowing. My plan right now is to do 20 minutes of resting and 10 minutes of doing stuff because I'm super tired, but my attention span is also like this big. So it's not my normal break of the day, but I need to not push myself to breaking. Okay, friends. So it's three hours later. I took a 10 minute reading break and then my body was like, nap now. So I've been up for like five minutes. I'm going to start tackling my to-do list slowly with again, like 10 minutes of my plan is 10 minutes of like productive stuff like laundry or whatever. And then 10 minutes of reading and yeah, 10 minutes of something else that's not super physical because I'm really tired and easily worn out. Okay friends, so it is just about time to leave to go pick up Patrick and I thought I would give you, um, well, I have an update. I did my hair and uh, I wore gloves, but you know, my nails are still dyed green. <laughs> did Mara's hair. The laundry is almost finished except I need to have everybody put their stuff away and I need to put my stuff away, but it's all through the laundry and washed and dried and folded and most of it's put away. Uh, I still need to weave in or the end on the hat and weave in the end of the sock, but here is that sock. So I'm not quite ready to weave in ends. Uh, I still have all of the ends for each color change. So that's two, four, and then it'll be eight and total that I'll have to weave in. I am five rounds away from starting the toe and they are on a needle with, I don't think I showed you these socks. 
I started them yesterday. I know I was talking about wine. Well, I think I was talking about wine and yarn. Um, this is Current Mood, Knit Picks Felici. And I'm making toddler tube socks out of them. So since I'm going to be using the long needle to finish the toe of the sock, I figured I'd just put it on and work the socks three at a time. Okay, I did not clean the washing machine. Okay, I can do that when I get back. Oh, um, I am on page 83 in which is Steeped in Gold. So not quite to 150, but still possible tonight. I haven't worked on ornaments. I did take that three hour nap. I haven't edited anything, but I've transferred everything except the video I'm currently recording over to my laptop. So I can do that when I get home getting ready to go to dinner, getting ready to pick up Patrick, and getting ready to go to the library. So the list seems fairly doable still. I'm hopeful. All right, friends, it is bedtime. I am tired. So let's look at this list really quick. I haven't checked anything off, but I'll tell you what I have accomplished. Uh, I did not put away my laundry do that tomorrow. I did finish the hat. I have not woven in the ends on the sock because I have not finished the sock. I have about six rounds to go and I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it tonight. I'm feeling pretty tired. Uh, I'm going to read some more of Witches Steeped in Gold, but I don't know if I'll make my, my goal. Um, I worked on the ornament a little bit, but I didn't finish it. I did edit the first vlog. It is exporting right now. I'm going to set it up to um, to upload and then go to bed. Went to mom's, picked up Patrick, went to the library. So it was an ambitious list <laughs> and I didn't accomplish everything, but I feel pretty good with the, um, with the progress I did make. And I am going to sign off here. Um, I hope that you have a, <laughs> a week where you can get some rest. Because I need a week where I can get some rest. <laughs> and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, friends.